What's going on, you guys? We've got a big toy hunt here today. Kicking it off with TJ Maxx. This was all filmed yesterday. If you're watching this today, this goes up on Saturday. I was in Utah on vacation, and this is me driving back from Utah to Arizona. Eight-hour drive. Decided to stop at a TJ Maxx along with four fucking Walmarts. And I filmed it all. And I pick up something at almost every store except, I think, one Walmart because it was absolutely shitty. Uh, but yeah, TJ Maxx was the first stop. I, d I, hadn't, I didn't have my hopes up really high. Um, if you didn't know, if you weren't paying attention to the figure news in wrestling community-wise, um, at TJ Maxx, you're finding the three packs of Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, the Tribal Chief versus the Beast three pack, along with Ruthless Aggression figures Brock Lesnar, Shawn Michaels, Batista. Now, at the filming of this, my girlfriend actually found me the three pack and Batista and she got me them and here I am finding a Batista $7.99 my boy how you gonna turn down $7.99 at first that's all I thought I seen but then bada boom bada bing we got the motherfucking three pack that's right tribal chief versus the beast I already have one and my girlfriend got me two of them but why not pick up another one especially for the price of $19.99 $20 for three elites my man how am I gonna pass that up and while I was looking, I was like, I'm going to dig around. And I see back here, I see some fuck, I see a Brock Lesnar. I was like, oh shit, here we go again. Now I already have two of this guy. But again, for eight buckaroos, how am I going to turn that down? And what else do I see? I see a fucking Shawn Michaels as well. And I'm fucking struggling to grab it. But besides that, I do get it. And I pick it up. Of course, I'm going to pick it up for $7.99 a piece at least, my man. And when I got the three pack up here, it didn't have a price tag, right? And she's like, it's going to be a couple minutes. $12.99, my man. They charged me only $12.99 because it didn't have a price tag. Beautiful. Next up is the first Walmart of the trip. Not expecting much. Looking for Cody Rhodes Elites. Looking for, you know, uh, Solo Sokoa and some other things. Maybe the new CM Punk Supreme, but they got the new Drew. Bunch of AEW stuff that everyone has at every store. Some ruthless aggression figures that are going to rot on shelves forever. Especially JBL and Tori Wilson. But yeah, rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. There he is sitting there. We got the new AJ as well. Uh, Hulk Hogan with the stupid license plate. Uh, surprised to see that. Also had Ultimate AJ down there. Uh, look behind them. Ultimate Warrior. Don't really give a fuck. Also, Rey Mysterio's. Already have the Rey. Already have the AJ. And all in, they also had the Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston. That's correct. I do end up picking that up here. I think it's here, or it's a different Walmart. But yeah, that came out like yesterday or the day before, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, first Walmart, nothing crazy. Did end up picking up the Eddie Kingston from here. Uh, but yeah, I was looking up here. I seen some stuff. A bunch of They had so much back stock, dude. So much stuff on top of the fucking shelves. And a part of me wanted to knock it all down, but I didn't. And they also had, like, some Elite items. Like, I thought about getting the Rock, but I was like, no, I'll wait for it to go on clearance. Uh, but, yeah, they had this Brock Lesnar. I know I don't see that at all. I've seen it one time. I'm surprised to see that. But, yeah, I think Eddie Kingston was the only thing I got there. Moving on to the next Walmart. Here I am filming the crosswalk. I am the cameraman of the year, of course. And out of all these Walmarts, bro, the setup was different. Every fucking one. And it was pissing me off. I couldn't find my way. And as I'm walking to the toy section, I'm like, oh, they caught a SummerSlam display end cap thingy. A full of fucking random shit, dude. They had they had Wardlow. Isn't he like an exclusive? I don't know. I don't care. They had fucking the Brock Lesnar. You just seen him pick up a TJ Maxx. Not paying 20 bucks for it. Kevin Owens and Sonya Deville. The only two from that set that were here. No Cody's, of course. No Johnny Knoxville, of course. But so many Kevin Owens, dude. And all these rocks, too. Just abundance of rocks. Uh, they had Asuka, too. They had the new MVP, Ruthless Aggression, Candice LeRae. Uh, yeah, I was, like, looking. I was like, is there a Cody somewhere? They, then they had that set, too, with Apollo Crews and Santos Escobar, like an older set. I'm like, this was so weird. Yeah, Kevin Owens, I already have one. I'm not paying 20 bucks for it, especially if it's going to go on clearance, which, of course, it will. But, yeah, dude, I was like, really? And then I walked over here, too. I was going to start going down. And then I seen another little display thing of figures. A bunch of old shit, dude. Like, a bunch of old shit. All these battle packs I've never seen in person before. Roman Reigns and Cesaro. Do you know how old that is? you know how long Cesaro's been in AEW? Over a year. All those Bret Hart. Ultimates that are going to sit there. Braun Strowman. He's about to have his new Elite come out. This is be Elite 87. Like, are you fucking joking? 
But yeah, this Walmart was like a blast from the past, dude. I was just seeing a bunch of old shit. So I decided to go to the actual section. Maybe uh, find an extra Cody from Elite 101. Uh, but, you know, my luck. Absolutely not. Just a bunch of old shit again, dude. I mean, some newer stuff, but... These base, that basic wave of Randy Orton and Baron Corbin in the suit, it's going to rot forever. All these Roman Reigns and Jimmy Usos. And this caught me by surprise. Ruthless Aggression Stone Cold. I've been wanting this. I've been trying to find it forever. Could never find that wave of Ruthless Aggression. I found every other wave except that one. Of course, I'm picking it up because I'm going to make a Moxley, a John Moxley fix-up custom thing. Follow me on Instagram at Mike Dress and click to see the finished product on that because it looks fucking phenomenal. But yeah, they got Brock Lesnar, Ultimate, and Rey Mysterio. No, Rob Van Dam. Both of them look like shit anyways, in my opinion. The head scans are awful. The attires are kind of basic. But yeah, a bunch of randomness. This basic set with Rollins in the suit. I already picked him up just for fucks of it, just for fun. Uh, yeah, they had an exclusive CM Punk too. One, I already have two of them, so I didn't pick it up because I was like, I should save money in case I find something actually worth buying. No Supreme Punk, though. Uh, no Eric Bischoff. I already have one Eric Bischoff, but of course I'm always looking for another one. And up here, dude, look at all those backstock elites. And that's old ass elites, dude. Like, really? Like, so many. And then someone was hiding a fucking. What was it? Yeah, look at that. Chase Apollo Crews just sitting back there. Crazy. I seen a Chase one and I seen a regular one. I already have both of them, or else I'd pick one up. Great figure, by the way. Highly recommend that Apollo Crews. Santos needs an updated elite. Bread to Hitman Heart. Drew McIntyre, the old one, like, fucking, hey, dude, so many old things at this Walmart, Nash Carter, Baron Corbin in the suit, ugly, Randy Orton, I got that at, like, fucking, I think, Ross for, like, $2, I think, but, yeah, Indy Hartwell, bunch of stuff, just a bunch of randomness stuff, dude, but, yeah, I ended up do picking up Stone Cold here, because I was like, no fucking way, no Undertaker, no Eric Bischoff, but, had to pick up the Stone Cold, take one more look around, nothing crazy, Moving on to the next Walmart. Now, this Walmart was pissing me off, dude. I thought I knew where I was going. Nope, didn't know where I was going. Went this way. Nope. And I was just so confused. I was like, where the fuck am I going? And then eventually I find my way. I left this all in because I was like, I have to show these people that. Every Walmart seems to be different. At least every one I went to, all four of them, all different layouts for some unknown reason. Sometimes the toys are in the back right, back left, soup straight back. It makes no goddamn sense. But eventually I do find my way. And I think this is the fucking annoying one. I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong. I think that's the next one. But just wait till I get to that one. I have a lot to say about it. But yeah, look at all those backstock ruthless aggressions. And I compared the barcodes. They're all Edge, JBO, Tory Wilson. But yeah, here's another Eddie Kingston. I think this is when I picked up Eddie Kingston. I think at the other one, I didn't pick up anything. But this is the Walmart I picked up Eddie Kingston, not the earlier one. Uh, but yeah, that earlier clip is the only store I didn't buy something because there's nothing there. But yeah, Eddie Kingston, so all these ruthless aggressions, dude. Like, And they also had Stunning Steve, but Jade Cargill going to WWE, I heard. MJF, good figure. Kofi Kingston, Skeletor, first time seeing that in the wild pretty cool figure especially the head scan shitty shoes though yeah just a bunch of stuff dude like it was just cool going to all these walmarts and just seeing all the differences the stephanie mcmahon all those top pick basics the rk bro matt riddle just got released but look at all those and i compared the barcodes they're all edge jbl toy was all of them. every single one and all those eddie kicks they had to moving on to the last walmart i'm pretty sure this shit pissed this was so annoying dude so many people were there i didn't film that much but i did find this Sami Zayn that i've wanted for a while i almost bought it last night online on ebay for 30 dollars loose because for some reason it's so fucking expensive but luckily i found it here and up here too look at all the back stock so much fucking back stock at all these walmarts i've been to up on top of the shelves there's so many but yeah so, bada boom, toy hunt's over, long fucking drive, eight and a half hours, nine hours, but I stopped at four Walmarts and one TJ Maxx, okay? Uh, what you guys didn't see is my girlfriend made me a blue basket thing, and she actually already grabbed me two of these three packs from her TJ Maxx that by her house, and she also grabbed me a Batista for my boot basket there's a little basket thing and she got me a water bottle uh but yeah and then the toilet and you guys see me get all this stuff so i went to a tj maxx i got a brock lesnar a Shawn michaels and another batista because 
I can't pass up 7.99 elites. And then it was funny, as you guys seen, the three pack I went to grab did not have a price tag on it. And so I was like, fuck. And Lady's like, you're gonna have to wait a couple minutes. I said, okay. She came back. She's like, okay, 12.99. I said, okay. I can't pass that up now, can I? Fuck no. So bada boom, bada bing, 12.99. Then I went to one Walmart. Picked up the Walmart exclusive Eddie Kingston, because why not? Went to another Walmart, got super surprised because I almost bought this online last night. I'm not even fucking with you. Last night for $29.99 loose because I wanted Sammy with the longer hair, even though the face is kind of gay. But the longer hair and the black tights. But for some reason, the figure is like expensive already. But I found it, as you've seen in the toy hunt, 20 bucks, 22 whatever. Then I picked up this Stone Cold because I'm going to make a John Moxley because I like the torso, I like the pants, I like the arms, bada boom, bada bing. Follow me on Instagram at Mike Dressing Collective to see that. And also my girlfriend got me, I will show you guys. She got me my biggest want, Eric motherfucking Bischoff. I don't know if she, she told me she bought it online. I don't even want to know how much she paid for it, but she bought it for me for my October boot basket thing. So I love her with all my heart. And then if you watch my last toy hunt, I found this Hulk Hogan SummerSlam and the Hollywood Hogan for clearance, 15 bucks a piece. Uh, but yeah, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Mike Justin Collector. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.